What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys being back for another video and hope everybody's doing well. Today, we're gonna take a quick look at the newest pair of Sitka Incinerator Aerolite bibs. This is the newest set of bibs that Sitka has put out as part of their Sitka Whitetail lineup. Anybody that's been part of the channel for quite a while now knows that I'm a huge fan of Sitka gear, but also the fact that I've used the Sitka Incinerator bibs in the past. I think I probably used them for the past three years or so, maybe four years, something like that. But these are the newest bibs and I actually sold my previous set, which was just the basic or the first set of sick incinerator bibs. This is the new Aerolite system. And before we get started here, moving these bibs around quite a bit, one thing that happened with my old set of sick incinerator bibs during the review was I'm in here in my enclosed basement there's absolutely no ambient sound going on and I have an amplified microphone so you guys can hear a little bit better during these videos. One thing that was brought up quite a bit in the comments that I noticed was the fact that how loud everybody thought the Sitka incinerator bibs are. First and foremost, as a tree stand hunter, as a whitetail hunter, that has never been a factor for me as far as using the Sitka incinerator bibs. I've killed two different bucks actually wearing the Sitka incinerator bibs. And I was actually wearing the old pair of Sitka incinerator bibs during this year's uh, buck kill that I killed, I think right around two weeks ago, something like that. But anyway, the loudness, the noisiness, whatever you want to call it, or whatever you think you might hear on the video is not a factor whatsoever whenever I'm hunting whitetails. Just wanted to get that part out of the way right up front and we'll get right on into the review here. So you might be wondering why did I sell the old pair of Sick Incinerator and get the new pair? The main reason is because I hunt a lot of cold weather and if I'm still hunting into late November and December it gets really cold here in Indiana setting in a tree stand. And one thing that I like to do is actually pack my bibs into the stand because sometimes I have quite a bit of a walk into the stand and the last thing that I want to do is work up a good sweat getting to the stand and then it's just so hard you're, you're chasing your tail trying to get warm the whole set so what I do is I actually put the bibs on my backpack carry those in and then put them on at the base of the tree or if I'm doing a hanging hunt I'll actually wait till I'm up in the tree and put the bibs on so that leads to the reason of why I sold this old set is because what I read and what I saw and there's actually not a whole lot out there about it but what I did find out is these are supposed to be very packable and just a lot basically thinner and not as bulky as the original Sitka incinerator set was. And as soon as I took these things out of the box, that was obvious right away. You can tell here I'm just holding these, haven't even packed them down, but I'll go ahead and pat them here just a little bit. You can tell there just how thin these things are. I wish that I still had the old set here so I could kind of compare side by side, but I had to sell those to be able to, to afford these. This stuff isn't cheap, but you guys have seen my other reviews. I do have quite a bit of sick of stuff and I would never be able to do that if I wasn't uh, prior military and they offered such a great discount. So there's a little tip for you. If anybody's not aware of sick is, I think they call it the pro program. Uh, take a look there. Any prior service, military guys, law enforcement, things like that can get a pretty hefty discount. and that allows me to wear quite a bit of Sitka stuff. So I'm thankful for that and the guys at Sitka. So like I mentioned with the packability, uh, these things do pack up so much tighter than the old pair. And that's part of the Aerolite system that, that is in the name of these bibs. And that's in regards to the insulation that's in these bibs. It's supposed to be 50% less in weight, but twice as warm as the original Sitka incinerator bibs. And uh, as far as Warmth, I can't really tell you guys for sure yet because I've only wore these on uh, a coyote hunt and I haven't actually set in a tree stand yet. So not here to tell you if these are, you know, night and day warmer than the original set. Um, to be honest, if they're just as warm as the original set, I'm perfectly fine with that. The day that I killed that buck this year, it was like 28, 29 degrees, 13 to 14 mile an hour wind, sleeting, snowing a little bit. And I don't think without the incinerator bibs and the Sitka gear, I would have been able to set in the tree stand as long as I did and this stuff is just so warm and like I said don't let the noise that you might pick up on this video bother you it's it's no bother whatsoever so one thing that I'm going to do here real quick before I put these on for you guys I've just got some gym shorts here in this sweatshirt so I'll put it on over the top of this but before we put them on I want to show you that it does have the same packability features as the original The 
Notice how tight they pack up. Much smaller than the previous set. Throw that on the outside of your pack. Throw it on the inside of your pack. Carry it in by your hand. Pretty awesome. So what I'm gonna do now is adjust the camera just a little bit, throw these things on for you guys, and we'll take a look at some of the features. Go ahead and slide these on for you guys here. Like I mentioned, these are made for tree stand hunting. You're not gonna to wanna to hike around the woods and deer hunt or coyote hunt or whatever you're doing in these too much. More made for stationary hunting. Tree stand, ground blind, whatever style hunting you do. One thing I'll show here before I zip these up is, hopefully you can see that here. Right here on the inside is a nice little storage zipper. And go ahead and get these zipped up here. I am 5'10", about 225, 230, something like that. And I went with a large. One thing I do like that the Sitka Stratus bibs don't have, whenever you zip it up to the top, there's actually a button on the inside that keeps everything closed up. So whenever you're sitting in your stand, your stomach's pushing out against these, it doesn't push the zipper down. It will actually stay closed with the button up here up top. Got some good insulation in here on these pockets for your hands. When you're walk if you're walking in, you can use those. So one thing I want to point out that the prior pair of Sitka and Sinraider bibs didn't have was the fact that you could fully unzip from the top side to aerate if you're walking into the stand with these on you can unzip from the top rather than just from the bottom and moving on down you got a zipper pocket here for your hand throw your car keys cell phone whatever you want inside there down here you've got your normal Sitka pockets like that are on most pants you've got buttons right here the pretty deep cargo pocket and got another zipper pocket here a pocket right here for a grunt tube grunt call and then you can zip up all the way from the bottom all the way up if you need to just like that it also has a button down at the bottom to keep it secure around your boots in case you are walking in and want to aerate on your way to the stand. And of course the other side is the exact same without the grunt tube pocket. And just like most bibs, you know, if you got to take a leak or whatever in the woods, you don't have to unzip from the top down. You can come from the bottom up. If you guys have any questions on these bibs at all, make sure and let me know. I'll throw some cards up here of some other Sitka stuff that I've reviewed that I, I use and I'm a firm believer in. And uh, happy hunting. Be safe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.